There's an old saying that a champion is only a champion because he chooses the fights that he's in. Well, once upon a time, the Knicks had that privilege. Game 4 was a game that was totally designed by the New York Knicks. There was one scenario where they'd be playing it with the 3-0 stranglehold, calmly packing away their toughest challenger in the East on the way to the NBA Finals. But because they did not cherish that opportunity, they were now in a dogfight. If there was anything Boss had proved in the final minutes of Game 3, it was that they weren't going anywhere without a fight. Well, here we are again. Me, LeBron, Kobe, we're all battling for something that's important to all of us. I feel like they made a huge mistake letting us back into the series. We're all Celtics, and just like we showed in the last game, all we ever need is the smallest bit of hope to work with. That's not the first time we staged a comeback on them. There's a level that we can play at that they simply can't reach. They've given us life, and we're coming at them with everything we have tonight. Pierce seemed to be on to something. Every time the Celtics beat the Knicks, it was centered on a legendary level of play. Pierce and KG would become too much to handle, Russell would rebound, Avery would knock down triples, and Rondo would distribute. This was something for the Knicks to be worried about. The series was still far from over, and what could New York do if the Celtics could continue to put the full weight of their team on them? Could Boston be stopped? All eyes were going to be centered on the Knicks either way, but Larry Bird exerted even more pressure on them with his comments after Game 3's events. We're keeping an eye on the East Coast. I'm not going to sit here and lie like we're oblivious. Honestly, I want those boys in blue to come see us in a few weeks. I know that's the matchup everyone wants to see, and from what I've seen, they're the best at beating themselves. How many 20 point leads have they dropped this year? That kind of focus ain't gonna get it done in a series against Magic, Michael, and I. I'm not taking anything away from them. They're an excellent team. KD's one of the best scorers I've ever seen, but they don't compare to what we do here. And with that, Larry had sent out the battle cry right while they were both still locked in the heat of battle in their own tough series. His confidence was no different than it had always been, and the fact that they had only lost one game in the entire playoffs gave him even more reason to come off that way. So it was game four, time to do or die for the Celtics, and time for the Knicks to try and reinstate their stronghold on the series. The result of this game would provide one team with enough momentum to possibly finish off the series. What's up, 2K fans? Welcome to what should be the closeout game, but if you saw game three, you saw the craziness and the BS that happened in the last four minutes. Well, we're here with a uh, three to, no, my bad, two to one lead. Boston now has a chance to tie the series. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to win this because I don't wanna stretch this out any longer. We should have already beaten them. Um, and I might have mentioned this before, but I, see, I noticed that these episodes are getting kind of long. I might have mentioned it before, but that's just because there's so many players, so much excitement going on. Just bear with it. They're getting like 15 and 17 minutes, but it is what it is. Enjoy it. We're all out here wearing green today, I noticed. Uh-oh, bad pass. And, of course, they get the rebound. Here we go. Oh, get that out of here. Brian denied it. 
And they go on the inbound, looking for Rondo. Is he going to pull up for three again? I was about to say, like he did last episode. He started making threes when he needed it. Out of bounds. And that's out on the... Oh, okay. It's out on me. I thought it hit on Rondo's thigh. Here they go inbounding again. Here's Rondo with two seconds. Here he goes pulling up for three. Oh, I was about to say, if he made that. But then Bill Russell comes in with the tip. Here we go. See Kevin Durant. Uh-oh. No one kept up with him. Is KG matched up on Kevin Durant today? I can't tell. End of the shot clock. Blocked by Durant. Durant has been playing some elite defense in this series. He's getting after it already. Uh-oh. Broke through him on the fast break. Here I come. Getting to my spot with LeBron. Oh, walked right past Rajon Rondo. He was giving no type of effort on defense right there. Just went into the lane. KG tried to take a charge, but I like it easy like that. Maybe we go ahead and blow him out like we showed up last time. Rondo's just dribbling out this play. Oh, there it is. I knew he was setting up something. He doesn't just dribble for no reason. He's looking for something. It was Avery Bradley. Looking like he was going to get a screen from Kevin Garnett. Guess not. There goes KG threatening a jump shot. Pump faking. Oh, what an asshole. He just wait till I got there to shoot it on purpose. <laughs> go to Avery. Oh, he had an open shot. I jumped for it, too. That was a really open shot. That's not like Avery to not shoot it. And oh, Bill Russell just throws it down on Dawkins. That's the stuff of legends. Some entertaining basketball so far. Uh oh, Avery Bradley. Yep, there goes that infamous screenplay from Boston. No good, but KG tip slams it. He went up high for that one. There I go. Paul Pierce is all over me. That's going to get him in trouble. He's going to reach. Uh-oh, there he is. Oh, I ran him in a circle. Ring around the rosy. <laughs> Paul Pierce pulling up. Oh, in and out. He almost made that on two people. 2K is trying to take that cheese to a next level. And I tried to pull up for three. Oh, give me the, the bank is wide open today. Two-point game. He goes Rondo in the post. Not going to do much there, especially with a double team. Oh, here go. Oh, good little give it. That wasn't really a give and go, but touch passes right there. Nice passing. Dennis Johnson is calling a play. He's looking for something. I see Avery Bradley coming off the screen. So is Jeff Green. Now he's going back door. Oh, I telegraphed that entire play perfectly and still couldn't stop the alley. Couldn't get high enough to tip it. End of the shot clock. My bad shot taker and my bad shot maker is with the ball. Oh, they left Marion open. Wide open for three. That awkward jump shot, but he got it to go. 8.1 seconds left in the quarter. Let's see if they can do something with it. I like leaving the first quarter with the lead. It gives us momentum. Here goes DJ. Trying to get inside. No good. Closed him off. Passed it off to Lou Aldang. Oh, he was sitting wide open in the corner waiting for it. Start of the second quarter. Here goes Bill Russell. Inside. Oh, how did he miss that one? Oh, come on. That pinball BS. He touched the ball and just had a rebounding. Tie game. He goes Kevin Garnett inside. No good. Wow, they are missing a lot of layups up close. My defensive pressure is pretty good. Oh, that was a risk. How did Paul Pierce not get that one? Here comes that infamous double screen play. Avery Bradley. And, oh, good screen by Kevin Garnett. That was a nice, solid screen right there to get Kevin Durant off. Some, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like when I set those screens, they call a moving pick. And then the computer kind of does it. I don't know. It is really tough to call tough call for real life and the game referees oh blue by courtney lee the reverse layup on bill russell what a move by kobe 40 41 this is going to be a tough one the celtics are desperate they are thirsty to tie this series oh look at my double screens they're working in full effect boston leading by one let's see what this play does not exactly sure oh just running right past them nobody i had to do that so quick I saw and I called a play, and by the time I got to my spot, the defense was completely confused. They had no clue what they were doing. Ran right past them, that little speed burst. Oh, no. I'm not falling for that double screen again. I'm doubling KG. I'm trying. I'm hacking at the ball. I'm all over the square button, and he still made it. Come on. This has been too much fun. Oh, give me that ball, Paul. Oh, that rhymed. Uh-oh, crossed Rondo and dunked it. Kobe playing defense and offense. That's what he gets for pump faking. Had to hit that square button on him. And Kobe got off high right here. It's Kevin Garnett. Oh, passed it to my ankles. They, they do that a lot. The computer. And I'm throwing another lob. Woo -hoo -hoo! ESPN top 10. 
Here we go. Looking for Kevin Durant. Faded to the corner. That's his favorite spot. Shooting about 110% from that side. 54-50. Here goes Kevin Garnett. Trying to bulldoze his way in. Rip Hamilton with the rare block. You got to do anything you can to stop KG. And there goes another lob. Starting to turn into a track meet. This is when the Celtics can't handle us. It was Paul on the rebound. They're starting to run. I see Avery Bradley out front. What do they do? Oh, Paul Pierce just keeps taking it. All right, then. I thought he was looking to pass. They're going to post. Ooh, Luol Deng hacked at the ball. Here they go on the fast break. I know Luol Deng is going to look to pass. Nope, not going to happen. I saw it coming from a million miles away. Got straight in the passing lanes. And don't try to come get it. It was Paul Pierce down to Kevin Garnett. Another pass to my lower body. What are the Celtics doing? They keep passing it to my legs. And what? Oh, my. What are they really trying to do? Leaving Kevin Durant open. We just might end up being too much for the Boston Celtics. Oh, blocked by LeBron. Oh, look at that help defense. But Kevin Garnett gets it and saves the Celtics. Counter and a foul. This has been a lot of fun to play and watch. Uh-oh, got Kevin Durant. That fire mark. Man, that transition defense is terrible. Almost up by 10. Going down low to Bill Russell. I'm double teaming like I always do. I didn't call for Kobe to double team. I called for LeBron to double team. What was that? We are fighting desperately to close out. Here goes Paul Pierce. No good. Drove in. Dawkins played really good defense right there. Went straight up with it. Look to my left. Tell me what you see. Oh, broke Rondo off right there. Had him turned around. Put a little Derrick Rose move on him. Oh, I'm being greedy now. Uh-oh, Kevin Durant. He's starting to heat up. You guys remember what happened in game four of that net series when Kevin Durant got going. That's not a three. It's a two. Won't go. Oh, LeBron comes out of nowhere. Check out the putback slam by LeBron James. My goodness. We're up by 12 points. I'm not blowing the lead this game. Oh, terrible defense, Celtics. Where's that Celtic pride at? They're going to need another miracle. It's not going to happen today, though. I'm too focused. They're not tying the series on me. Here goes Kevin Garnett. Good fade. And Bill Russell with the lucky tip. Boston cut into that lead just a little bit. Oh, here I go. I'm wide open for three. Give me the double digits back. Coming at the end of the third quarter. Here goes DJ. He's trying to force his way inside. He won't take no for an answer. Good little hook shot. Won't go. And Bill Russell with the tip back slam. We had a lot of those this game. Jeff Green, eight seconds. What are they going to do at the end of the quarter? Going into Bill Russell. Here he is. Oh, this, this is no challenge for him. Puts it up. We got two seconds. What can we get? They've cut the lead to five. I'm going to Kevin Durant. This will solidify how hot he is for this game. I'm pulling up for three in the face of Dennis Johnson to end the third quarter. Here goes Paul Pierce looking for something. Oh, I almost stole that. Here I go. I'm double teaming on Kevin Garnett. And double teams just don't work in this game, I guess. Five-point game. Celtics are trying to stage another comeback, but I just won't let them. Oh, look at my court vision. I'm rage on Rondo today. Here we go. Covered that screen perfectly. Here goes Kevin Garnett. He's not going to shoot a three. I don't know why they ran that for him. Oh, a little shimmy shake. Vintage Kevin Garnett back when he was with the Timberwolves. It was Paul Pierce on the rebound on a fast break. He doesn't normally look to pass. Oh, good pass to Avery Bradley cutting into the lead. Will we drop another game to Boston after leading by double digits? Will they tie the series? Oh, good little pass to Bill Russell. Four-point game. Here goes Kevin Garnett. He's looking. Oh, I finally blocked it. The double team was finally successful. Thank God somebody is with us this game. Here we go. I'm trying to break it in. Oh, broke him off. Look at my footwork. Kobe just went off on him. Going to Kevin Durant. Oh, that was almost a steal. Almost knocked into Paul Pierce's knees. Uh-oh, putting the moves on him. Oh, look at those crossovers by Kevin Durant. Here comes Boston pushing on the break. Rondo looking for something. He doesn't ever dribble without a purpose. There he goes. KG at the free throw line. Oh, really lucky that wasn't a foul. 
I hit the triangle button kind of hard right there. LeBron really brushed up against Kevin Garnett on the side. Oh, I see Kevin Durant. He's floating. Uh-oh. Red hot. He is red hot right now. Ke oh, my bad. I was about to say Garnett. KD is killing it. You remember what happened in that game four against the Nets where I dropped 60 with him? I might do it today. I don't know his point total, but I know it's damn high right now. Oh, good pass. And that is, that's an eight-point lead. Here it goes. Paul Pierce in the post. He's going to fade away. I already knew it. There it goes. Over the goal. No good. And Bill Russell, another putback. Got to do something. Running out of shot clock here. Got to pull up. In the face of Paul Pierce. Kevin Durant has officially caught fire. I don't see a point total. Oh, there it is. Oh, he has 52. My goodness. Oh, man. If I can score eight points in a minute, I can match that 60 from the other day. And it was Paul Pierce wide open from the jump shot. I'm going for 60 again with KD. Oh, damn. Here I go talking too much. The Celtics going to mess around and come back. I done lost my focus again. 43 seconds left. If they can hit a three right here, it's still a game. Here goes Rondo. They're trying to do another comeback. Jump shot is good. Here I go. 22 seconds left. They're bringing the double team on Kevin Durant. They're trying to cock block my 60 point attempt. Oh, they cock block my 60 point attempt. And they can come back too while I'm busy here playing games and whatnot. It was Paul Pierce back. Oh, no way. No way. I was about to say that was their best chance. This game is over. We have ended the set. Well, we didn't end them, but we went up 3-1. Kevin Durant pretty quietly had another really, really high point total. He ended it with 50-something. And ah, I was trying to throw it up, trying to get more points right there. But whatever, I saved this field goal percentage. Whenever we get to these games where we can take a three-point lead, Kevin Durant goes all the way off. The situation was dire. The Knicks needed an answer. And once again, New York's secret weapon answered the call. By the end of this game, no one could help but notice how unbelievably familiar this series looked to the one against Brooklyn. In nearly the same exact situation, Kevin Durant responded with yet another 50 point game, becoming only the fourth NBA player in history to score 50 or more points in the same postseason. He joined the likes of Wilt Chamberlain, Michael Jordan, and Allen Iverson, posting yet another postseason record. For KD, he was taking the highest honor to show up when his team needed him the most, especially since he had seemed to be playing in the shadows the entire season. He had taken the most flack, even receiving criticism early from greats such as Oscar Robinson and Kevin Garnett himself. This is unbelievable for me. All season I felt like I was holding back a little. Then in the beginning of that net series, Kobe pulled me to the gym one morning and told me everything I needed to hear. It's just a coincidence that both of my 50 point games have come on the heels of us dropping a big lead. I'm not sure. I think it has something to do with me wanting that first ring so badly. These Celtics are such a dangerous team, and I knew it would be a problem if they tied the series, so I just kept letting loose. We just need five more wins. We're right there. Kevin Durant's performance was a dagger to everything the Celtics have worked so hard to achieve. What Boston was doing seemed like a success story. After nearly being put in a 3-0 hole, they saved themselves in the last minute of Game 4. In Game 4, they had given themselves a pretty good shot at winning, but Kevin Durant had yet again went unconscious, always keeping the margin open between the two teams. With a 3-1 lead on the series, every game the Celtics played would now be an elimination game. This would force them to constantly be on edge. Meanwhile, the Knicks could relax and just play their game. New York had answered Larry's battle cry, except there was only one problem. No one knew if the Lakers would actually be in the finals waiting for the Knicks. Just one game after he had sounded so confident, the Lakers dropped Game 2 to the Suns. Suddenly, it didn't even matter that they had been undefeated for almost all of the playoffs. They were now headed for a Game 5 that could determine their fate. Meanwhile, the Knicks were calmly heading into theirs. If LA didn't make the finals, it would surely be the biggest disappointment in NBA history.